Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I gotta say, I've been getting nostalgic lately and I'm slowly getting older as we all are and while I'm still young, I wanna get ahead of the inevitable memory loss and the tarnishing of my memories. And there's been a lot of cool gaming related stuff that I did when I was younger. I will leave my more private memories for the photo albums, but since this channel is my little private gaming diary, I think it would be perfect to just immortalize some of my coolest gaming memories in a, here in form of some videos. And today I wanted to talk about that one time when the official Shakes and Fidget Facebook page actually posted my own account, which was a level one twink as a screenshot. But I'm just gonna start from the beginning. When I was in middle school, I played two games a lot. One of them was Shakes and Fidget, which, in case you don't know, I think that game is most popular in Poland, Germany and Czech Republic. This is an idle game, an online idle game, where you create a character and you progress that character. It's uh, like an MMORPG of sorts in a form of an idle game. It's quite good, I would say. You should give it a try. It's not aggressively monetized compared to the games of today. And the other game that I played was World of Warcraft. And in World of Warcraft, I was enamored by doing something called twinking, which it took me a few years after I started participating in twinking to learn that the word twink actually has a real world meaning as well, but uh, disregard that. So anyways, twinking in MMORPGs is an act of creating a character <clears throat> that's not at max level. It can be at any level you choose. I was doing, at the time, level 1 twinking. And then you use a higher level character to boost this lower level character as high as you can by giving them items, giving them gold, giving them enchantments, giving them buffs, everything, so they can be the strongest version of a low level character. So I thought one day, why not just combine those two things and create a twink in Shakes and Fidget. So I did, and it was on Christmas Eve 2012 when I created One, which is my scout. And uh, there isn't really much you can do as a twink in Shakes and Fidget, because a lot of the actions give experience. You could fight on the arena with other players, which is like the main activity, since we want to create the strongest level one character. We it's really good we can fight higher level characters so I can get some cool screenshots of me defeating some higher level enemies. Uh, and we can work during the city guard. That's a very time consuming method, usually reserved for players when they run out of their daily energy or whatever. To uh, just click it, your character goes and guards the city for like 10 hours and you get some money. On level one, you got one gold, per 10 hours of doing that. Uh, and that was the only thing we could do. We could do a few quests, but you had to be very careful not to level up to level two. I created a guild and I made a thread on the Polish Shakes and Fidget forum, which was massive at the time. And I got some other people to try it out as well. I think they enjoyed it. We had many people in the guild. In the future, I kicked them from the guild for some reason. I don't remember my reasoning, so now the guild is empty apart from me. But sadly, I cannot share my screenshot album with all of my screenshots from back in the day from the forum because the forum was closed and I didn't save them. But I managed to get a modicum of attention. And then one day, out of the blue, in the year 2013, which is close to a year after I created this character, I so that Shakes and Fidget official Facebook account posted this post with a screenshot of my character and the text said, wondering what twinking is? Check out one of level one twinks. Compare her stats to that of a normal level one character to see the difference. And they linked a Wikipedia article on twinking. So I was stumped, to be honest, because that's the first... Uh, first time, you know, a, a modicum of niche internet fame was given to me. Uh, and it was really cool to see. 
I suspect they maybe noticed my account after I posted one of the higher level fights in the album. Maybe someone shared it into them. Anyways, that post was not only really cool, it was also a springboard for other people trying out twinking. I heard that it got quite popular in the German servers. Sadly, I never got into contact with any German players, but that's what has been told to me. And soon after the post was made, the Shakes and Fidget team, of course, kept updating the game, etc. And they added this functionality called the wheel. And as you can see, you can spin the wheel one time a day or more if you have some special coins and you get a random reward. And the wheel is divided into 10 sections and two of them marked by the books, this book on the top right here and this open book at the bottom, they are experience. So if I rolled this wheel, which is like a daily reward, I risked getting experience on my character and two out of 10, which is 20%. On average, it would be like five times rolling the wheel and then I would break my character because I'm pretty close to level two. So I messaged Shakes and Fidget on Facebook, hoping that maybe they remember my post. And I asked them if they could do something about it, because that would be a massive quality of life over doing just work all the time to get money on my level one. I got this reply that they will forward my request, but they don't think they are willing to spend time on it. And then I just thanked them and said that the Twinking community, which is me and the few other people in the guild, but they don't need to know that we're not so massive, uh, would be really appreciative. And I wished them Merry Christmas and that was it. Until I got a reply from them a few days later that they actually changed the wheel. And if you are level one, you won't ever get experience from the wheel. And also you won't get experience from raids and guild fights. So this is my niche micro fame of Shakes and Fidget level one twinking having an actual impact on the game. It was really, really, really cool to see. If I spin the wheel right now, I really hope they didn't just ninja change it at some point in the future, but we should not get experience. And in fact, from my testing, it looks like every time it would stop at experience, it just goes one further which is resources for the fortress you cannot have a fortress at level one but since i got resources so much because statistically that's the most often you can get because you have 20 percent two out of ten to land on resources and further two out of ten to land on experience which would push you to resources so 40 percent of the time you roll the wheel you will get resources i actually have a lot of them on my level one even though I'm not able to build a fortress. Fun fact is the fortress costs 10 gold now. It used to cost 100 gold when it came out and it didn't have this level 25 requirement. So I was actually able to build a fortress back in the day when it came out, but I didn't have the gold because I would just keep spending the gold that I had on my stat upgrades and I never managed to build it. And then a few months after they added this, uh, or earlier probably, because I started saving gold like crazy to get to that 100 gold to build a fortress, but before I was able to save enough gold, they added this level 25 lock, so I wasn't able to, and then a few years later they changed the cost back to 10, just to tease me, I suppose. Of course not, but it is teasing. So yeah, that is the story of my little famous moment on Shakes and Fidget Facebook and me using that little bit of tiny fame to influence the game a tiny bit to help level one twinks and sharing the playstyle on the forum. Uh, sadly, you know, the game keeps being updated and nobody really thinks about level one players as they should because it's a niche in a niche in a niche. Uh, it's just sad to see because in the further updates, well, maybe before that, one thing we did in level one twinks was we uh, invited one high level player because how the guilds used to work back in the day, the upgrades are now personal, but how they worked back in the day was you had a pool of gold that had to be reached 
that every player in your guild could contribute to, and you could use that gold to upgrade your treasure or your instructor. Treasure increases the gold you make, it's just a percentage buff to every single gold source, and instructor in is the same type of buff but to experience, of course. We don't want to buff instructor because we are twinks, we want to stay at level 1, but I invited a very high level player who could just give us all the gold we needed for max treasure uh, as, if, as if it was nothing. So I don't really remember what the guy's name was, so sorry about that, but he came for one day, joined our guild, gave us enough gold to max out the treasure. In Shakes and Fidget, you can't actually access the gold for any other means, so I couldn't use that gold to uh, buff my character or buy anything. But we got a 50% gold buff, which was the cap. And that made uh, it so that our work, our 10 hour of city guard, gave one gold 50 as opposed to one gold pure. And then the guild upgrade system was changed. So as you can see, I no longer get one gold 50, I get one gold 10 because upgrades are now personal. You have to spend your own gold to upgrade the guild, and the total guild bonus is the sum of all the upgrades of all the participants, up to a cap. So when the, the devs added this to the game, they decided like, okay, we're adding this, but previously players had to spend presumably a lot of gold to upgrade the treasure and the instructor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of the gold that was spent by those players and we're gonna divide it equally among all the guild members. And you can see what happened. That high level player came in, deposited millions of gold that we couldn't access because that's how the game works. And we could max out our treasure and that only had a minor effect on our daily gold gains. And then a few years later, we suddenly have access to millions of gold on our account that we can spend. And that absolutely broke twinking. I spent almost all of that cash. That's why I have over 5,000 gold now. It's not like I did 5,000 10 hour shifts. I spent all of that gold, maybe millions is a little bit exaggerated, I probably should have counted that, but thousands upon thousands. I spent that gold into my stats. As you can see, boosting my dexterity, dexterity costs 1,780 gold now, and boosting my constitution costs 4,705, because I always liked to have a little more constitution, just get my HP high, because high number, good dopamine point. And if you remember, uh, our main way of getting gold is a little bit over one gold per 10 hours. So getting just one higher stat now is pretty crazy. Anyways, so yeah, that's why I have gold grandfathered in my description because I was able to benefit from that gold bug. Well, not bug, but probably unintended mechanic. And uh it definitely broke all competitive, let's say, aspects of twinking because on other servers that didn't really happen and maybe some servers had more gold in their storages, you can't really compete in doing millions of hours of labor on shakes with someone who just benefited from the bug. And so yeah, so that is one cool thing that happened that, well, it's pretty cool to see a character with close to 6,000 hit points on level one if you remember that screenshot that I showed you, my character had close to a thousand hit points then, so it's six times as much. Uh, and the cost grows exponentially, so that was never achievable. And the other very sad thing is that arena fights got changed, so now you got experience for fighting on the arena, so I cannot fight on the arena without getting experience. We can still fight via the Hall of Fame if I get, can just look for an enemy and fight them through here. I wouldn't get experience, but what we did back in the day to climb the rankings was look for people who are higher than us in the rankings, but are not wearing a weapon for some reason. So they would just be punching. And the damage calculations were changed 
so that if someone is punching, they deal almost as much damage as they would do with a weapon. So previously, they would deal close to no damage, well, still significant versus a level 1, but now it's virtually impossible to fight someone even like 10 levels higher, so that killed both the competitive aspect of just developing your twink and the aspect of fighting higher level players on the arena, but uh, it was cool while it lasted and I hope you could enjoy the story and I hope me in like 20 years when I forgot all of the details I can enjoy re-watching this video and reminiscing a little bit. So uh, yeah, I have a few other things that I want to talk about regarding other games that I played, other cool stuff. One video that I would really like to make, but it would probably be like 10 hours, is my adventures on the free-to-play World of Warcraft, but there's a lot of other games that I played, a lot of cool stuff that I did on them that I would like to share, so uh, yeah, I think that will be it. Hopefully you enjoyed if you watched this far, and hopefully me from the future can enjoy as well. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.